Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to make a picture semi-transparent using the eraser in Photoshop. So let's see how that's done. So I, if I click on the eraser tool right here, you see that there is some dialogue up here. And actually, I set it to brush right now. You can actually make it to pencil or block. So let's make it to the block right now. And if I were to take this and click and drag, it's actually going to take away my TV here. Why is that? Because the bottom color right here is set to white. So we're going to Command Z that. Um, and if I were to switch this to black, you can see that if I clicked and drag, it's actually going to make a line over it. And that's not what we're looking for. So I'm going to Command Z that. We're actually going to take and make a new layer. And I'm going to make this one TV. And I'm going to click off the background layer, which is actually my safe layer if I wanted to go back. So if I were to click on this layer, you could actually see the transparency behind it. And I'm going to take my eraser tool. And as you see, if I click and drag, I can actually reveal that transparency back there. Now, this is still in the block mode. So if I were to do this and rub it here, I can do this. Now this would take a long time to go around this white. So I don't think that that's the most efficient way to do it. So I'm actually, and you don't have a lot of control over it. So I'm going to command Z that one. Actually, I can go to the brush tool and I can actually set the size of my brush to whatever I want. I can make it bigger or smaller and have a lot of good control over it, but I want to make it semi-transparent. So to do so, I would actually go in here to opacity and put that at 50%. I'm going to click OK. Now you see when I click and drag, it actually looks a bit cloudy. And if I were to actually go over this, you can actually still see some of the TV underneath of it. Now, this is good for techniques, but I would not suggest doing this to knock out the background as it does take data away. But you can actually get some really good, effective brush tools out of this uh, and some effects if you were trying to get those types of effects. Using the eraser tool in Photoshop. Have fun using this great technique.